After we transform MIDI track into audio, we don't need MIDI track any longer. In Luna, you can always hide this. From, it's still there. It's just, it's still right here. It's just we decide to um, hide it. The same thing with the bass MIDI track. Boom. So look what happened in such a short period of time. We've got the um, drum set, all the percussion instruments. We've got bongos, congas, timbales, um, drum set. And um, we can do the same work with other voices. There's a beautiful voice of mallets. Okay, so it's going to be the very next step, stereo audio track. And we can just remember what we just, what we did. In the output, we select the virtual instrument. This virtual instrument go out and comes in into the mallet audio track. We select the same link, the same cable, and out to the main. When we hit the record button, we should be able to record that instrument. Voila. See, in such a short period of time, we were able to flip the MIDI track into audio track uh, by bouncing your MIDI tracks into audio tracks. You save yourself a tremendous amount of trouble. You could save these individual audio tracks on a little SD card or USB drive and keep it in your drawer for years to come and six, seven, eight years later you just pull it out, give it to music engineer or just plug it in into any computer, any DAW software, transform the material, um, write those individual tracks into one 
project and guess what you can start developing it it's a very powerful tool allows you gives you this freedom and uh, allows you to look into your music creation from slightly different expanded uh, point of view so voila you can do the same thing towards other tracks this is not about only Luna this kind of work exists in any DW on this market on our market so wherever you drive is it Pro Tools or Cubase Logic Pro right any software you use you can do the same thing to your MIDI tracks you want to bounce clean tracks already cleaned MIDI tracks for example if they are in place in perfect alignment if the wrong notes are cleaned if the, the dynamics you want to present are there so you kind of you prepare you uh, edit your tracks before you bounce them into audio you don't want to do this kind of work 10 times you want to clean your tracks edit your tracks check everything you need to check and then bounce it into audio track with confidence once you have audio track you can present it to any engineer on this planet and just be proud of your work so bounce your tracks my friends it's gonna save you a big amount of stress we select the MIDI track the tracks output goes directly to the input of the audio track you connect this chain from the audio track to the main track you click the recording button on the audio track to record the MIDI track through that channel and voila in the end you've got MIDI tracks you've got audio tracks you save the project